What if I told you that there is something that is key to finding your own style as an artist, finding success in online business, social media growth, and email marketing, growing your email list? We're going to talk about that today. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you, consistency. Consistency is the key to unlocking all of the things. Style, business, social media, email list, and any other thing that you want to get good at or that you want to build or you want it to grow or you want it to become something more than what it already is. Consistency is your magical fairy wand that you can use and it's not really all that exciting (laughs) but it is very 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 important okay so let's begin with your art style and how it relates to this consistency magic thingy that I'm I'm talking about with your style as an artist you've got to paint a lot of paintings to figure out what it is that you're good at, what it is that is your your thing or your signature or your thumbprint or whatever you want to call it. There's something that you have that no one else has that will come out eventually. You will be able to, to tell, okay, this is me, but you're not going to get there until you consistently paint all the time not all the time, but you know, on a regular basis, paint a lot of paintings, do a lot of drawing, make sure that you are consistently showing up with your supplies and your ideas and just trying things. And when I say be consistent, there is also another, just a little side note here. You've also got to be flexible and you've got to be okay with making mistakes. You've got to be okay with changing gears, doing something different because you can be consistently doing something (laughs) over and over again that is not going to really get you anywhere. So you don't want to consistently be doing something that is bad as far as we're still talking about art here. If you are consistently painting the same exact flower and you hate the way that it looks, consistency is not going to get you anywhere. <laughs> so coupled with this, this idea of being consistent, you've also got to allow yourself to learn, to do something different, to get away from the fear of just trying things and Be more consistent in showing up and trying things rather than consistently repeating the same idea or the same, I don't know, um, style of, of painting over and over again. So when I say consistency is the key to finding your style as an artist, I don't necessarily mean consistently doing the exact same thing over and over again. I just mean be consistent with showing up. Be consistent with making sure that you are painting on a regular basis. And that will lead to learning more, trying things, getting to a point where you are comfortable, you have your way of painting, and you will build up some some really good foundations for different things that you create. Okay, so consistency is super important with finding your style as an artist. It's also very important if you are trying to build some sort of online business, even if it is not an art business, no matter what. Being consistent and being flexible in this area also is very important because online business is not ever exactly the same all the time. You're gonna have to be okay with trying something, seeing if it works, And if it doesn't, you change. 
something may work for a little while and then it may not work so well anymore. You've got to consistently show up and be ready to do the work, consistently do all the things that are going to actually move your your business in the right direction and be flexible enough and be willing to allow yourself to do things that may not be successful or try something to be a little risky to see if it's going to work. And it's the same as, as painting. You've got to get past the fear of trying things and allow yourself to just consistently do it. Try it. Um, it. It may not always, it's not going to always work. And there are some things that are going to work now that won't work two years from now. So you've got to already have that in mind. You can't set something up online as a business and think that it's going to work exactly the same from here on out because it's just not possible. Okay, so be consistent and flexible with your business. I'm going to give you an example. So with my business, um, maybe three years ago, the best way for me to find new customers, the best way for me to get my business out in front of people was Facebook live video and I could get on a Facebook live video and almost every time I did I would get new members in my membership or I would sell something that was on my website I would do different kinds of, of videos whether it was a teaching video or I was selling my art they were always super super effective <laughs> not so much anymore Facebook live video is not helping my business so I'm not doing it so I had to I was consistently showing up and doing that for a period of time while it was working and then when I saw that it was not beneficial anymore I pulled way back and I stopped doing that and I've switched gears and moved in a different direction so that's just one example of you should be consistent you should constantly be looking for ways to to grow but you can't be uh, so consistent or kind of narrow-minded that you think that that one thing is what is going to continue to work. And when it doesn't work anymore, you just keep doing it. That's not the kind of consistency that I'm talking about here. You need to switch gears, consistently show up for your business, but do it in a way that you can see firsthand that it is beneficial. Okay, social media growth. That kind of ties into what I've already been talking about. But consistency with your social media is what is going to help grow your social media. So you've got to show up on there. Show up is probably the, <laughs> the main phrase here. You've got to consistently show up with your social media. You've got to be there. You've got to share pictures. You've got to talk to people. It's social. It's, that's the point of it. You're supposed to socialize on there. And if you never get on there and you never show up and you're not consistent with it, then people are not going to talk to you. <laughs> you're not going to have a relationship with anyone on your Facebook page or your Instagram account or wherever it is that you're trying to grow. So be consistent and show up on a regular basis. And also, like I said, be flexible because social media, of all things internet-based, is constantly changing. Jump on what's new. If there is a new trend, do it. That's going to help you. Okay? So also email lists. If you don't have an email list, if you are trying to grow a business of any kind, you need an email list. You need a, a list of your customers or people that are interested in what you're doing. So your email list is exactly the same. Be consistent with sending out emails to people who have signed up to get emails from you. They wouldn't want, they wouldn't sign up if they didn't want to hear from you. So you don't want to, to put some people on a list and 
just let it sit there. If you want your list to grow and you want those people to actually buy things from you or you want to actually help them in some way, then you've got to actually send out the emails. So being consistent with your email list and your email marketing is another very, very important key to growth. So I hope that this was helpful and I hope that you can see that showing up and being consistent is what will push you to the next level. It will help you to get to the next thing, whether it is you're looking for ways for you to grow in your creative, um, your creative process, if you're looking for ways for you to grow as a business owner. Either way, this one concept is what you need to do, what you need to keep in mind, what you need to use to evaluate what you're doing so that you can move to the next level or whatever you want to call it get to wherever it is that you want to go so we can use this consistency with flexibility to help us grow with our business and with our art practice so now it's up to you what are you going to do with this information are you going to be consistent are you going to be more flexible are you going to be willing to learn new things try new things take a few risks because that's what's going to help you to grow. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time. Bye.